name's Rebecca Louise and welcome to today's workout. If you have not already subscribed to the channel, I need you to do me one quick favor. Hit that subscribe button because you're gonna see so many more workouts. On Fridays, we also have an amazing fitness challenge with special guests and Wednesday, you get to get a bit of a, a midweek pick me up with our motivational podcast, It Takes Grit. Um, I've got Alfie back in the building with me today. He is one toe down, uh, but nevertheless, he is here, he's wearing to go, and you're gonna get to see him uh, in all of his action in just a moment. So today, guys, we are doing a back and chest workout. Grab your favorite set of weights. You know, use something that's going to challenge you. Those last few reps wanna be okay, a little bit difficult. So follow me on also on Instagram and Facebook, Rebecca Louise Fitness, and of course, hashtag I can feel the burn Rebecca. So we have got time on the clock. We are gonna start off with our first exercise and we are going to bend slightly over and we're just gonna bring those weights out to the side. So I'm demonstrating here with three pounds. Typically I'll use five to 10 pounds, just depending on what the exercise is that I'm doing. So pull your belly button in towards the spine and then bring those elbows out to the side. So we're gonna do another one of your favorite stacked exercises. And what that means is we're gonna do 30 seconds of an exercise, have a 10, 15 second rest, and then we're gonna add on another exercise and keep on going. Give me one more, squeeze those elbows out to the side and shake it out. So you've got a 10 second rest, and we're gonna go back into that exact same exercise. So bend those knees, lean forward, and let's bring those elbows out to the side. Pull that belly button in towards your spine, Cool, we're gonna get through this whole workout today, guys, and you have gotta to get to the end. That's your only focus. Wherever, however long the workout is, you have just gotta to get to the end, and that's where you're gonna to start to see those results. Cool, bring those arms up, squeeze those elbows using that back. Keep the bottom part of your body nice and still. And three, two, one. Okay, next exercise. You're gonna bring your arms over the top of your head and we're gonna extend all the way up. So nice bend in the knee, tuck those hips underneath, prepare that back and we're gonna push up to the sky and then all the way down. So that's it. So nice and slow, squeeze and bring those arms back out to 90 degrees, okay? All the way up to the top and then slowly down. We don't wanna bring it all the way down here. We're gonna keep it out, extend. And down we go. Yes, guys, you've got this. So you've just got to envision, okay, you completing this workout, how you're gonna feel afterwards, and we're just gonna to work together to get there. Three, two, one, and release. Okay, shake out those arms. We're gonna go back into those standing pulls. So knees nice and wide, okay, pushing those knees out to the side, legs apart, and let's squeeze, up we go. Whew. So really just pulling that belly button in, and squeezing your back together. Kind of think about squeezing like a nut or a monkey nut, that's what you should be able to do. Squeezing a monkey nut in between your shoulder blades. That's it, so lift all the way up, really bringing those elbows out to the side and squeeze. Now anytime the weights get too heavy, don't just stop and turn the video off, just put the weights down and keep on going. Give me one more and release. Okay, we're gonna go back onto over the head presses, so arms out to the side. Take a nice big breath in together. Inhale and exhale. Ha! <sighs> and let's push it up to the top. So you can probably see Alfie is in the background. He has got a cone on and it's got a very snazzy cone. We got him a material cone and he's got a pink cast on. So he's looking very multicolored and bright for the month of June. Uh, so let's push our arms all the way up to the top, bring it down, and he had basically had a little bit of a growth on his toe that we just need to cut off just in case it was um, infected or had cancer in it, and it's not. It's benign, so that's great news. And release all those arms down to the ground. Okay, we're gonna add on another exercise. We're gonna add on flies this time. Okay, so I want you to really bend over. Okay, bend those knees and bring those weights out to the side and then bring it back in. So yes, Alfie is is feeling so much better. Whew, I feel like throughout the course of me making videos on YouTube, Alfie is in a cone once or twice a year. Uh, so you've probably seen multiple videos uh, with him on a cone on his head. So I think this is the most fanciest cone that he's ever had. <laughs> okay, that's it. So give me two more, bring it out. And then last one, really squeeze and release. Okay, Whew, we're doing good. We've got three exercises through. So we're gonna go back to that first exercise. 
Bring those palms facing towards us and let's squeeze out to the side. So really use that back. Okay, so chest is lifted, nothing else is moving. I'm really just squeezing my back together and that is what's lifting my arms up. If you think of it like that, as the back is squeezing together to lift up the arms, you're gonna really make sure that you're using the back muscle, okay? And not just those arms. Whew. Okay, so squeeze. Give me one more, all the way. And release down, okay, shake out those arms a little bit. Maybe if you wanna put the weights down or you wanna increase the weights, Make sure that you are pushing yourself. So we're gonna go back to those overhead press. So right here, and up we go. So squeeze up, pulling that belly button in. Keep breathing for me. Arms out to the side. Really extend all the way up and hold them for just a second at that 90 degree angle. Bring it down and push. Down you come. That's it, you can do this. Keep on going. Those arms, the back, the chest, everything is gonna look amazing. You just gotta keep on pushing. You gotta keep on pressing. Whoo, exactly what we're doing right now. Pressing up to the sky, drop it down and release. Okay, into those flies and we're gonna add on the next exercise when we're gonna drop it down to the ground. So, palms facing each other and let's squeeze. Now, I really wanna make sure that you're not doing this. You're not heaving and lifting everything up. Everything is staying nice and controlled. So if you can't get your arms all the way out to the side, just drop the weight down a little bit. Or maybe, you know, for the first 10, 15 seconds, you're able to use that weight and then you have to drop it down. That's no problem. I just want you guys to keep on going and keep on moving forward. That's it, squeeze that back together. Breathe in, one more and release. Okay, you're gonna come down to the ground and we're gonna take our arms out to the side. You can bend your knees for a little bit of support. You're gonna come here, bring those arms together and then take it down. That's it, so just squeeze those arms. Woo, really using that chest, using your shoulders. Bring those weights into the center. Keep a nice bend in your knee, keep your feet flat onto the ground. And you got this guys, we've just got one more exercise to add on after this, all the way down. Keep on pushing it through Woo, in this set. But then of course, if you guys are following the burn program, you know we've got a full 28 minute workout today. Let's stand all the way up to the sky, stand up, and we're gonna go back into those squeezes. Whew, three, two, one, let's go. So yes, if you are following me on YouTube, fantastic, you're gonna get a new 10 minute workout every single Monday. And if you guys are part of the burn program, you know that you get a new 28 minute workout every single day. Um, and there's a bunch of gaming and fun things that you can do on that too. So I know some of you guys are ready to do the full 28 minute workout. If you've not already joined us in the Facebook group, make sure you do. That's exclusive for all of our Burn members. Give me one more, squeeze and release. Okay, we're gonna go back overhead. So arms up, bend those knees, tuck those hips in, really make sure that we're supporting that spine and let's push up to the sky. <sighs> Drop those elbows out. <sighs> Keep breathing, should be getting that sweat on right now. Really making sure that you're using a weight that is pushing you out of your comfort zone. Remember, those results are one step outside of that comfort zone, not inside. Arms up and squeeze. Breathe, give me two more, all the way up, slowly down, and one more, and release down, okay. We've got one more exercise to add on after this. So we're gonna go into the flies. Remember what's next, we've got flies, we've got the arms overhead, and then we've got one more to add on. So let's take it out to the side and squeeze back together. So nothing else is moving. I'm really just concentrating on using my back to squeeze everything together. Really pull those abs in towards your waist. That's it, so that belly button in towards the spine. Nice and controlled. You might need to lean over a little bit further. Give me one more, extend all the way out to the side and release all the way down. Okay, dropping it down to the ground. Woo, we're flying through this workout. Arms out to the side and we're gonna bring woo, those arms into the middle, tuck those hips underneath and let's go. That's it. Slight bend in your elbow, just not knocking out those joints. Send those weights right up to the sky, having no gap in between the mat and your back, which means you just need to tuck your hips underneath. 
That's it, and it helps when you bend your knee to tuck your hips underneath. If you're straightening your legs, it's gonna be a little bit difficult, more difficult. So I just like to bend my knee, that's it. Then I've got no space between the mat and my back. Whew, okay, we're gonna add on that last exercise. So you're gonna put your weights down to the side and we're gonna go up into a push-up. So you can either come onto your knees or up on your toes. Start with a few up the top. Let's come down and squeeze. That's it, nice and controlled. Your back is in line with your head, that's in line with your heels. Kind of just like you would with a plank. If you need to come down to your knees, okay, don't cross your feet at the top. Just unlock them, come a little bit further onto your knees and still keep that same position. That's it, 10 seconds left. Can you squeeze a few more out? Breathe. Three, two, one, and release. Woo! My goodness me. You guys absolutely crushed it. That is it. You're not even going to be able to tie your hair up tomorrow. Well, make sure that you comment on the video. Let me know how you like it. Let me know how you're liking these stacked workouts. Always like to mix it up and bring you something new. My name is Rebecca Louise. Make sure you follow me on social media, Instagram and Facebook, Rebecca Louise Fitness. And of course, Alfie, Sir Alfie. Guys, stay fit, stay strong, stay confident, and I'll see you on our next workout. Bye, guys.